So today we're going to be going over how to steam and froth milk at home by hand without a milk frother or a steaming wand. Now the first thing we're going to need is obviously milk. What we're going to want to use is whole milk just because the fat gives it uh, less likely of a chance to separate and it gives it a better foam because of that higher fat content. And the goal with steaming milk is you want to get the temperature to around 140 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. Now the first way we can do this is putting your milk in the microwave and heating it up for 30 seconds. Problem with this is the microwave, you know, gives things cold spots. If you've ever used a hot pocket, you probably know this. Now a little bit better way to do this is pouring your milk in a saucepan on the stove and heating it on a medium heat. Now you don't want to do it too quickly because your milk could then spoil and that doesn't make a very good cappuccino. And then you could slowly stir it until you get to that perfect 140 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we've got our steamed milk, we need to froth it. And typically you would use a milk frother, but in this case we don't have one. So one way to do it is using a whisk. Now the whisk is a pretty decent way to do it. You would just put it in your steamed milk, place it between your hands, and rub it back and forth very quickly between your hands until you get a nice foam. You're not going for the big bubbles like you would for a bubble bath. You're kind of going for like a uh, sea foam look to it. Now another way to do this, and I think a little bit better way to do this, is using the French press. And this comes with a nice little metal mesh filter and uh, just pouring your steamed milk in there and fairly vigorously uh, up and down pumping that metal mesh filter between your uh, steamed milk will give it a very nice froth, perfect for any cappuccino you might be making at home. And if you're using the French press, don't forget to take the little plastic lid off. This will get your foam over there. I almost forgot to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a uh, comment down how you liked it. Or if there's anything I might have missed or even extra tips you could uh, add to it, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you want to share it to your other coffee-loving buddies, please, I would be tickled pink if you shared it with your other coffee-loving buddies. And don't forget to go brew up some love for somebody.